Hi guys, my name is Connor, and today I'm going to be showing you how to add a basketball scoreboard to Prism Live. So first you're going to select your sport, which is basketball. You can title your game, so basketball game, or whatever you like. Again, you can add a description if you like, and then click create. Next, you're going to add your first overlay. So we have two options for scoreboards right now. We will be creating more in the future, and we also have team lineups and announcement bars so i'm going to add this red swoosh for now click add overlay so on the left we've got the preview and on the right we've got the live stream the preview you can just use for experimenting before you show it on the live stream and then on the live stream this is what will actually appear on your live stream so we're just going to say slide up for the entrance transition and slide down for the exit transition so you'll see when we hide slides down and show it slides up let's click update and you can see it appears on the live stream next we're going to edit the position we should probably have done this before we updated on the live stream but anyways save position you can select your first team so i have two save teams here i have the bulls so it will load in the crest and the colors this overlay isn't actually using the colors so it doesn't really load them in and then you can say Lakers here. You see again, it loads in the crest and the colors. So I'm gonna update that on our live stream and you can see it updates the position. Next, I'm gonna click go live here. You can then copy this link by clicking the stream link button here and then go back to Prism Live. Click add source, click browser and then click okay and then click OK again, and then add your overlay URL here that you just copied. Set the width to 1920 and the height as 1080, and then click OK. And you can see the scoreboard transitions into our live stream. So I believe this is just the preview on the left, and on the right, it's the live stream. So you can click this arrow here, and it'll update on the live stream. So next, we're gonna go back to OBS. You can see if we increase the score, on either team, it will increase on the live stream. If we add a foul or a timeout, you can see a timeout will show an announcement on the announcement bar here. And as well as that, a foul will increase the indicators here as well, as well as showing the announcement bar. So we can start the clock. Before the game as well, you can configure the additional settings here. So you can use a shot clock if you wanna use a shot clock. This would provide two more buttons in the overlay controls, so you can start the shot clock and reset, reset the shot clock. So I'm gonna hide that again. You can set the period length here as well. You should do that before you start the clock, obviously. And you can choose the shot clock duration as well. We can choose the number of fouls that are allowed per half or per, per quarter or per half as well. So if I change that to three, to three, you can see it appears here on the live stream. So again, if we increase the fouls, you can see it'll show the notifications and you can see when it gets to the third foul, it will show a bonus on the opposition's side. So you can see because it resets every half or quarter, when we go to the next period, it will reset both the bonus and the fouls. So yeah, that is pretty much it in terms of the scoreboard demo. Um, I can hide the scoreboard here, and then we can add the team team lineout. So I'm gonna add the overlay. Next, you're gonna select the overlays layer, and you're gonna click. You can change the transition, so I'm gonna say slide left on entrance and slide right on exit, and then we can update that to hide it, and then we can click update to hide both. You can see they're both hidden on the stream now and then we can show our lineup by clicking update. So if we go back to here, when we selected the team names originally, there's also an option to create a team. So you can create a team by just clicking this button and that's where the lineouts come from. So click create team and then you click new team here. You can type in the name, select the sport, the colors and the team logo. The logo should be a square if possible with a, trans with a transparent background. So you can see here, I've already typed in these random names. You can also add substitutions if you want, by just clicking add substitution.
institution, you can download an Excel file or a CSV file from here, and then you can re-upload it. So this CSV file will have a template for changing both like the numbers and the names uh, of your starting team and your substitutions. So the first five in this CSV will be the starting players and each one after that will be the substitutions. So I'm gonna go back to our stream. So you can change the team by just clicking this button here, click Lakers, and you can see in our preview window, it updates. But that does not update the live stream. You, by clicking this update button here, it will update the live stream. Once we have that shown, we can update it again to hide it, and then we can show our scoreboard again. You can click the scoreboard there to get the scoreboard controls again, and then we can start the clock. As you can see, because it's at zero, we need to reset it. So you can change the time, say 10 minutes, save, and start. So finally, you can also use a remote control. So if you click this QR code here, you can scan this on your mobile phone, and then you can use the remote control on your phone anywhere in the world, um, or anywhere in the stadium, or the basketball court and it will update in real time on your live stream. So you can open that in a new tab as well on your laptop, or you can copy the remote link and then you can WhatsApp it to yourself or to a teammate, um, or you could email it to someone who will operate the scoreboard for the game. So yeah, that's pretty much it for today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below, or you can also reach out to us via email at info at obscoreboard.com. Thank you.